Hello guys, welcome to this channel. My name is Aiden Yit and today we are going to launch a rover to Mars. Right now we are at 1 minute and 50 seconds from launch. So first I'll tell you all about my rocket design. So this rocket design is inspired by the Falcon Heavy, SpaceX's Falcon Heavy. So as you can see here, we have a first stage with two boosters. So in total there are three uh, Hawk engines on the bottom. We also have side separators to separate the boosters once they're spent. In the second stage, we have on the first stage we also have an interstage that will that can separate the first and second stage. The second stage has three engines in for thrust. Two of those engines are less powerful engines. These RCS thrusters are for orbit, circular station, etc. Inside this fairing is what I call a lander that will help the rover land safely on the Martian surface. And below that lander is the rover. Anyways, we are now 45 seconds from launch. So right now we're going to do some tests on the rocket. Okay, gimbal test check. We are T minus 30 seconds from launch. T minus 20 seconds. All systems operational. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Antic ignition, two, one, lift off. We are off the launch pad and going to Mars. We are now commencing turn program for reaching orbit. We are now above the parachute deploy limit. We are now past the sound barrier. We broke past the sound barrier. We're now at an angle of 60 degrees. We are, we are now above Earth's lower atmosphere and entered Earth's upper atmosphere. We are at a 75 degree angle and our boosters haven't really run out yet. Engine cut off. So with every space mission, we must reach orbit. In this case, our overall orbital velocity for Earth is 1600 meters per second. We are now doing our orbit burn. We are now at a velocity close to orbital velocity. The side booters are spent, so we will detach them. We have run out of liquid fuel on the first stage. Second stage detached and it needs igniting engines. The fairing is detached. We have reached low Earth orbit. Okay guys, here's the pro tip. If Earth is in the point of the transfer window, it's the best point to launch your rocket to go to Mars. Because in real life, uh, that's actually where they launch Mars missions. But with the help of time warping, we can skip to that transfer window. It's just gonna take a bit of a long time.
Okay, we are we are now about to do our. Um, we're going to speed up so that our orbit will crisscross with Mars. We're going to do ignition in three, two, one. Engine ignition. Our velocity is now past the 18,000 meters per second mark. We are 400 meters per second and lower from reaching uh, a Mars sub orbital trajectory. Kind of. Are we gonna have a moon counter? Mm, maybe not. Okay, engine cut off. Now we're gonna have to perfect our trajectory to Mars. We're going to orbit at a speed of, we're going to orbit at an altitude of 110 kilometers. Now, we will time warp through a 6 to 7 month journey to Mars. We're getting closer to Mars. We gotta prepare for the encounter. Okay, lower the time warp. Oh. Okay, it's fine. We'll still reach orbit. Even if we miss the closest point to Mars, we're still gonna reach a slightly elliptical orbit. We are now slowing down to uh, Mars orbit trajectories. We are now in low Mars orbit. So now, we're gonna have to do a few checks on the rocket. And then, we are going to do our deorbit burn for Mars re-entry. Okay, you guys, uh, you guys, uh, he can make a better design than mine because I don't know how to incorporate a heat shield in there. So if this was the re-entry update, the, the wheels would be directly exposed to the atmosphere. Not so good. But it's fine. We will now do state separation in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. State separation. We have separated the payload or the stage. Now we have these parachutes here to help us slow down when high up in the atmosphere. And then this engine will ignite to help slow down this rover at the surface. Even though we, I for, even though I forgot to transfer some fuel to, like this part, we're still gonna be fine. So first, let's figure out. Okay, maybe this is a good angle. We now entered Mars upper atmosphere. Let me tell you a bit about Mars in Spaceflight Simulator. 
the max deploy height for parachutes is 6250 6, meters per second kinda deploy oh, oh no oh no oh no oh no oh no might as well just activate the engines okay whoa 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 oh, we have some annex we have uh okay good we're now slowing down to a halt yeah fortunately we are fine from the re-entry look at that the martian surface in a few seconds we will be landing on it or maybe in a few minutes your choice we are now 300 meters above the martian surface we're still slowing down quite fast though so maybe at 100 meters we'll slow down so that the stress on the on the wheels aren't that much like in real life the wheels aren't the wheels aren't indestructible we are carefully slowing down the rocket to a halt sorry i mean rover yeah sometimes i don't pronounce things correctly we have landed on the surface of Mars, and uh, I forgot to this. I, yeah, that's a problem. I forgot to release the parachutes, but that's fine. Even though I can only turn, even though I can only uh, send a small rover to Mars soon, uh, I can send better rovers to Mars. Anyways, guys. Uh, Thanks for watching this video. If if you like this video, then give it a like. If you enjoyed it, then you can also give it a like. If you want more content from this channel, just subscribe and click the notifications bell if there is. Okay, guys, I'll see you in the next video that that you watch from this channel. Thanks for watching.